Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Afika binti Abdul Razi. I am from AS229 and my FIB title is on a review of heavy metal concentration that affect an aquatic ecosystem. The world and its compartment were heavily polluted by heavy metal. This destroyed the capacity of the world to sustain life and to create its fundamental value. Heavy metal are known to be naturally occurring compounds but are gradually introduced by anthropogenic behavior in different environmental compartments. The aquatic world is the final destination for nearly substance, including heavy metals, which are compounds of specific gravity greater than 5.0 that are non biodegradably in nature. Heavy metal pollution in marriage ecosystem is increasing at an unprecedented pace and has a become major global issue. So, for the problem statement, heavy metals not only have significant impact on the marine organism, they also have a severe impact on human health. Finally, due to the growth in human population urbanization in the watersheds, land use patterns affecting the watershed have arisen. The more heavy metal left in the environment, the deposition of this heavy metal increase and this impact the aquatic environment. Furthermore, the objective of this study to discuss the occurrence of which of these five heavy metals which are arsenic, cadmium, chromium, manganese, zinc and lead is very toxic at the most high amount of metal concentration, the effect of heavy metal concentration on aquatic life and their organ tissues. Next, let's we move on on what is heavy metals. For the last two decades, the term of heavy metal has also been used in a wide variety of media and legislation surrounding environmental hazard and the safe use of chemical. It is also used as a common term of metals and semi-metal metallic concerned with corrosion, possible toxicity and ecotoxicity. Heavy metals are usually present in the trust level in natural waters but many of them are toxic even at a very low concentration. Heavy metals are metals with a higher density relatively and slight amount of toxicity. Arsenic, cadmium, lead, manganese and zinc are examples of types of heavy metals. So, there are five heavy metals in water. Firstly is arsenic. Arsenic is a metal that forms naturally and is 20 most common element in the earth first. It is found in over 255 minerals. Arsenic is the most common source of acute heavy metal toxicity. Arsenic is a metal with a sinister ring to it. Nevertheless, some prokaryotes generate energy from arsenic or oxynions either by oxidizing arsenide or respiring arsenide. Secondly, is lead. Lead is the most dangerous heavy metal in the environment. It is used can be trust can be traced back to the historical times to the significant physiochemical properties. It is a widely spread, essential but harmful environmental chemical in a global scale. Lead is a common metal and one of the first metal found by humans. Next is manganese. Manganese is the word. 20 most abundant material. Manganese is also important to human health because it acts as a cofactor in the active centers of different types of enzymes and is necessary for normal growth, nerve and human cell function maintenance, and blood sugar and vitamin control, among other things. Furthermore, zinc. Zinc is a common element in both human and natural environments and is essential in many biological processes. Zinc is commonly spread in nature and is an important trace element in life. However, if zinc concentration reach a certain threshold, there can be some toxicity effect on aquatic ecosystem. Last but not least, cadmium is a radioactive metal that occurs naturally in atmosphere as well as a pollutant from industrial and agricultural sources. Cadmium toxicity in the environment and its highly toxic effect on living organisms have been well documented in a number of studies. And lastly, chromium. Chromium is a naturally occurring material found in the crust of the earth. Chromium is the most common metal in the earth's mantle and used in a variety of manufacturing processes such as plating, alloying, animal height tanning, and is a water corrosion inhibitor. So next, let us move on on the research questions. So firstly, what is the purpose of evaluating heavy metal in the, in the water? So testing for metal in water is important because many heavy metals pose a threat to our health and also directly give effect towards water quality and also aquatic life. They are widely considered to be the most dangerous to human and marine organism. The detrimental effect to human health and aquatic life is associated with their exposure even at a low level concentrations. Second question, what is the effect of heavy metal and aquatic life? 
So heavy metal are primarily responsible for fish hatching delays, deformities, and mortality. The most common deformities caused by heavy metal in fish are spinal deformities, up to 100%. More research on the latent subletal effect on environment pollutant is needed. Deformities in fish could be used as a biomarker for environmental contamination. Hence, as we know, heavy metals such as arsenic, lead, cadmium, chromium, manganese, and zinc are very toxic at an even low concentration and will give effect on aquatic life. Third question. What is the best method to measure heavy metal concentration in water? In general, ICPMS is the best method to measure heavy metal concentration in water, but it is very costly. So, atomic absorption spectrometers, or to be known as AAS, was used to measure the concentration of heavy metal in waters. So next, why do we need to measure the level concentration of heavy metals? So as we know, heavy metals are class of metals and metalloids that have a relatively high density and if at, a, at even at a very low concentrations. Heavy metal can cause toxic health effect in human and other aquatic organisms at a higher concentration. Also, they can enter the human body through drinking food and air. So for the last question, why is the heavy metal content in fish found more in the liver rather than the gills? Be it heavy metals or other toxic substances, the liver is the main organ for a job assigned to detoxify or metabolize to make it polar. This can easily be extracted through the kidney. As for the example, when heavy metal that used was traced, for example, cadmium accumulated in a high concentration in fish, livers can cause a variety of pathological changes in liver tissue such as enjoyment of blood tissue. So, we move on. Basically, the this river paper involves the various species of fish with different locations of river water. The aim of this river paper is to discuss the occurrence of high amount of heavy metal concentration and the effect towards aquatic life and their organ tissue. Samples of water and fish will be obtained from the different places in the middle and lower reaches of the lake. In all, all the samples of water at the different places and the species of fish were collected. As we can see from the table, hence five heavy metals which are arsenic, lead, cadmium, chromium, manganese, and zinc are widely used to investigate to see the most high concentration that will affect the water system. As we can see, there are five locations of river water that will be analyzed. In, timber, in the Timber River, it was found out that there are three heavy metals that are included in this research that has been investigated. From the result, it was found that the concentration of manganese is strongly higher, which is 7, 716, 7 and 5.0 mg and definitely will give a toxic effect to the water river itself. The overall exposure to this metal, on the other end, can be very harmful to multiple organ systems and at a various stage of life. Manganese is the world's 12th most abundant material. Most likely, the effect of manganese toxicity on human health is quite a general problem. Even without water static testing, the presence of stains, particulate, and a metallic taste often indicate that manganese is present in water supply. While for the concentration of zinc and chromium, it was found out that zinc got the lower concentration than the cadmium. As we know, zinc is commonly sprayed in nature and is an important trace element in life. However, if zinc concentration reaches a certain threshold, there can be some toxicity effect on the aquatic ecosystem. But on the result, zinc got the lowest level of concentration than the other two heavy metals in Timor River which is 74 mgkg. While in Dalswari River, there were two heavy metals that were investigated. It was found out from the result that lead is strongly believed to have the highest concentration rather than chromium. Lead is regarded as a hazardous occupational portion with well documented toxicological effect. The fact that lead is not biodegradable is the primary reason for its long term survival in the environment. As indicated in the table, there are five species of aquatic life to analyze and to investigate which of the heavy metals that give the most acute effect to the organ tissue for these five species. As mentioned in table, there are five species of aquatic life which are perch, El Rohita, Spurs Aurata, Auterina Hepcetes, and Dicentratus Labrex. It is mentioned that confirmed metal level in manganese that affect Dicentratus Labrex tissue was generally higher than those found in other species. This is because the findings show that metal accumulation is the highest in the liver and gill of that species. 
Kanli et al. 2003 found out that the level of heavy metals of Anterna hepsitis for the liver is higher than the gel of the species, while Brazova et al. 2009 indicate that the level metal of arsenic and zinc mostly had the highest concentration and most effect on the liver of the species. In addition, not only for the gel, the liver is also one of the organ tissue for fish development. It is digestion by secreting enzymes that break down fats and also serve as a fat and carbohydrate storage area. The liver is also involved in the disruption of all blood cells, the maintenance of proper blood chemistry, and the extraction of nitrogen waste. From the table, the data revealed that metal concentration were significantly different in each tissue from different fish species. This could be because different fish species has different ecological needs, swimming behavior, and metab metabolic activity. It is shown that mostly the level concentration for liver is higher than gel because it is well known that methylene induction occurs in large quantity in fish liver tissue. Next, we move on on suggestion and recommendation. Heavy metals are metallic elements with a relatively high density in comparison to water. Based on the assumption that heaviness and toxicity are linked, heavy metals also include metallic such as manganese which can cause a toxicity at a low level exposure. In this review, heavy metals concentration of manganese is shown as the highest concentration and they give a most accurate effect to water and also to aquatic life. Hence, the level concentration of manganese also affect aquatic life on the organ tissues, mostly in the liver. The liver of fish is involved in the destruction of all blood, cells, the maintenance of proper blood chemistry and the accession of nitrogen waste. So, that's all from me. Thank you.